Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you where to store your BNB Binance coins when you need to withdraw them from the Binance exchange. So let's get going. Okay, so Binance.com is closing down access for U.S. residents in order to comply with U.S. regulations. They'll be opening Binance U.S. soon. So if you are in the U.S. and some other countries, you'll be blocked from deposits and trades on Binance.com. You'll still be able to withdraw your holdings. So in order to trade and deposit, you're going to need to move over to Binance U.S. But what can you do in the meantime? Where can you withdraw your Binance holdings? Well, if you've got Bitcoin or Ethereum or any of the other major coins, you can withdraw them to other cryptocurrency exchanges. But Binance coin is a little unique. It's not really supported on a lot of other exchanges. So I'm going to show you a couple of Binance based wallets that you can use to store your BNB tokens. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so uh, the first one that I'm going to discuss is uh, Atomic Wallet. All right, and it has several different uh, ways that you can use this wallet. You can uh, use their phone app. You can use their desktop-based app. I'm going to show you how to do the desktop-based app today. So I'm here on the Atomic Wallet homepage. I'm just scrolling down here to the download section. I'm going to download the Windows version. All right, and I'm just going to drop that in my uh, downloads folder. All right, I'm just going to run the installer out of my downloads folder. All right, so uh, I've downloaded and installed the Atomic Wallet. All right, and let's go ahead and run it. We're going to create a new wallet. Uh, it wants us to create a password. All right, and so this is a non-custodial wallet. The private key is going to be stored on your own device. No one will have custody of any of these cryptocurrencies. So you want to be very careful to write down this 12-word recovery phrase. It's very important. Should you lose the wallet? Should you uh, your hard drive crash? Uh, you accidentally uninstall it? There's a lot of things that can happen. So all you need to do is write this phrase down and store it safely in a non-digital format. Usually a piece of paper will work just fine. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so now that you've safely stored that 12-word recovery phrase, it's go ahead, we can go ahead and open up the wallet. All right, and there we go. Now you can see that we've uh, it supports quite a few cryptocurrencies. Uh, the one that we're interested in today is Binance Coin. So let's go over here to where it says Binance Coin. Oh, there's our address. Okay, so that's all we really need to send some Binance Coin into this wallet. And you can see when I click on the address there, it says that I've copied the address into my clipboard. So that's really all I need. So let's log into Binance and see what's going on over there. There we'll go. We'll log into our Binance account using our password manager. I'll hit login and then I'm going to drag this over the puzzle piece and then I'll enter my Google Authenticator. All right, and that gets me logged in. All right, so uh, let's go over to Wallet. All right, so you can see I've got some Binance coin on the Binance exchange. I want to withdraw that. So I'm going to go over here to withdraw. As you recall, I copied that Binance coin address into my clipboard. Let's go over to Binance and just paste it in there. All right, and we don't need the memo. You don't need the memo when you're withdrawing to your own wallet. All right, and then you put in the amount here. I'm gonna take five out and put that in my atomic wallet. So we'll hit submit and we'll re-enter our Google Authenticator code for Binance. All right, and so they're going to send me an email confirmation. I'll wait for that to come in. All right, so there's my uh, confirmation email. I'm going to hit confirm withdrawal there. And the withdrawal was successful. 
All right, so we can go back over here to wallet and we can choose deposit and withdrawal history, uh, choose withdrawals, and we can see that that Binance coin withdrawal is now processing. I did get charged a small amount of Binance coin, so it's not the full five. All right, and let's go back over to our atomic wallet and see what's going on. We should see some Binance coin coming into this wallet. They've got a little refresh up here. All right, so the Binance coin has arrived in the wallet and you can see that the Binance coin moved to the top there because it's got the highest balance. The rest of them are zero and it reflects the cash value here in uh, this little indicator over here under the atomic icon. So there we go. We've moved our Binance coin off of Binance Exchange and we're storing it safely in our own wallet. We have total control of this cryptocurrency. Like I said, make sure you've uh, saved that backup phrase in a safe place. Okay, so we still have some more Binance coin I'd like to withdraw and I'm gonna show you a different wallet that you can use. Some people are a little squeamish about holding cryptocurrencies on phone-based wallets, but the Trust Wallet is the official wallet of Binance and it's a great iOS based wallet. When you set up this wallet they will give you a recovery phrase that you can store on a piece of paper if you ever lose your phone or the phone gets damaged or you accidentally delete the app. Right? So it's just as safe as any other cryptocurrency wallet. It's a non-custodial wallet where the private keys are held encrypted on your device. Excellent wallet. So let me open up Trust Wallet up there. All right, and as you can see, I already have some coins in here already, but what I want to do is withdraw my Binance coins off my Binance account exchange and store them in this wallet. So I'm going to tap the Binance coin up there, and I want to do a receive. All right, and that's the receiving address. Now, I need to get this on my computer from my phone. I don't want to type it manually, so I'm just going to do a little share down there. And I'm going to email myself so that I'll have this on the computer. All right, let's go ahead and copy that address into our clipboard. That is the address of our trust wallet. So let's go back over here to Binance and we'll do withdrawal. And we'll paste in the address of our trust wallet, our phone based wallet. All right, I don't need a memo field because I'm sending it to my own wallet. And I'm going to uh, click over here, Available Balance, to autofill the maximum amount that I can withdraw. All right, and then I'll hit Submit. And I'm going to enter my authenticator code. And it's going to send me an email to verify. All right, there's the confirmation request. I'm going to confirm that. And it says that the withdrawal was successful. And I can go back to Wallet and go over here to Deposit and Withdrawal History, uh, click Withdrawals, and I can see there that that BNB is processing. Let's check out the wallet and we'll wait for uh, the Binance coin to come in. I can pull down a little bit here and do a refresh of the wallet. All right, and there we go. You can see that that Binance coin has arrived in my trust wallet. And you can see the uh, transaction history there. I just received that uh, 5.0182 BNB in the trust wallet. So there you have it. Two non-custodial ways to store your BNB tokens uh, safe and secure for as long as you want. Now, if you're interested in trading your BNB tokens in the future, just wait a few days for the Binance US exchange to become available in the US, and then you can transfer your balances back to that exchange and trade away to your heart's desire. If you have any questions about anything I did, throw them up in the comments. I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget, I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A from Michigan, live from Michigan. Throw out any questions that you've got, and I'll just do my best to get them answered right there on the spot. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. 
If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.